uh, is up by over 109 percent. So we definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming through. The only thing that we really ask y'all to come and do is like the video. All right. So we ask that you please come on in and like the video. But got a lot of stuff to discuss today. We're going to be getting into a lot of topics. And towards the end, uh, we will open up StreamYard to anybody uh, that want to come on and speak to us. So uh, we've got a couple of topics that we're going to talk about. We're going to be talking about Cardi B. We're going to be talking about Lil Uzi. And we're going to be talking about the rapper Almighty J. And who else do I have here that I'm going to talk about? Lil Uzi. Uh, Yellow Breezy. We're going to talk about that as well. So let's start to get into Yellow Breezy. His grandmother. <laughs> Purchase a fake Rolex at the at the mall. And so Yellow Breezy brought it up and said, Oh, my grandmother got scammed. And I'm like, listen, anytime you go to the mall, you can get scammed. And you and you have to have the proper device to make sure you're getting a real watch or a real chain, you know, because it will be people that will throw you and give you something that is fake. And another thing, young breezy is a purse, he is a criminal. You know, let's not let's not say he's not a criminal, he was arrested. Uh, for doing some stuff. He's not really known as a rapper like that. I know he did a record with Erica Banks. I'm really not a fan of Yellow Breeze. I hope I'm saying his name right. So his granny got gooped, all right? But your grandma shouldn't even be in a mall trying to buy a Rolex. Your grandmother should be in a rocket chair, you know, knitting or being in the kitchen baking a sweet potato pie. That's what your grandmother should, that's what your grandmother should be doing. Grandmother shouldn't be in the club. Grandmother should be at home Watching the grandchildren, cooking some fried chicken, making greens on the pot. That's what grandmothers should be doing. But these grandmas these days, they want to get Rolex. They want to get their toes done. They want to get their nails done. It should be used to be in church, wearing your hat, praising, worshiping God, not going to get no fake Rolex. So it's granny got and stuff like that. I'm just being real. The grannies that I know, they supposed to be baking some cookies. And watching the children going to Sunday school. That's what Granny should be doing this day. Not going out there buying some fake Rolexes. That's what Granny should be doing. You shouldn't be out there backbiting and say, Whoa, oh, baby, I'm going out to the club. I'm going to pop, lock, and drop. No, it's supposed to be pop, lock, and drop. That past should be over. Because once you become a grandmother, that comes with a certain responsibility. Get somewhere and sit on down and knit me a sweater. Put a pot. Of some pig feet in the uh, in uh, in the pot. That's what you should be doing, not going to get a watch. Oh, you trying to keep up and stuff like getting well, what? It looked like yellow breezy. That chain he got around his neck probably fake. You know, most of these rappers and people in hip hop, they be wearing fake jewelry. They be make they be catfishing the public. They talk about me being a catfish. A lot of these rappers be catfishing the public. They have put on a fake chain, and you think they got all this money and they ain't got nothing. And I was going to break that down. I ain't got nothing about nothing. <laughs> and I'm just going to say that 100% I say this on the show. You got to be very careful when you see these rappers out here uh, in the streets. And I, I don't want to just say it right then and there because these rappers um, need to know. So give me a second. When y'all come up in this room, make sure y'all thumbs up the video. Do y'all agree that Granny should be buying fake watches? Granny should supposed to be somewhere, you know, cooking in the kitchen. That's what I believe. So give me a second. It's another rapper that I do want to talk about. It just dropped. It just dropped in my spirit. That is another rapper that I do want to discuss um, in the live. So y'all give me a second. It's like another rapper that I do want to discuss in here. So give me a second. I do because it, it's just it's just falling on my mind. I, and I and I gotta discuss it. So give me a second. Why I bring this down to do that. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video uh, in here because it. I really got to say this. And I saw this last night and I said, hey, I got to talk about this. So let me do this real quick. Um, all right. G give me a second. I'm going to do this real quick because I, I, since we'll be talking about Yellow Breeze, there's somebody else that I do want to uh, talk about in this show right quick. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to bring him up. Hold on one second, you guys. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video. I know they mad, probably, you know, make sure y'all thumbs up in the chat, y'all, because we are live. Make sure y'all thumbs up. We are live on the channel. And and thank y'all so much. Shout out to the new subscribers. 
that's coming in. But it's another rapper that I do want to discuss in here right after Yellow Breezy. I didn't even put his name in the title, but this man dropped in my spirit. I said, hey, I got to I gotta talk about him. So give me a second and bring him up so y'all don't know who exactly I'm talking about. And yeah, they, I know they're saying there's young grandmothers and grandmothers um, that, you know, that are young and all that. I get it. And I understand. I forgot. You know, you got grandmothers at 36 years old. That's grandmothers or at 40. Uh, that's grandmothers. We we should definitely um, know that. But this other rapper that I'm bringing up on the jacket really quickly to talk about uh, is Fetty Wap. So give me a second while I bring him up. Um, definitely with that. So Fetty Wap, y'all already know who he is. You know, the one with uh, that come out like that. You know, y'all seen him before. But he you he did an interview with um he he did he did an interview with DJ Academics and he had lost his uh he lost a lot of money and because he wasted a lot of money. This man had apartments and three 